Living with integrity means speaking the truth, even if it causes tension or conflict. End quote. Dante's Boxing Nation, what's going on, guys? You know, I've been telling you guys this since day one. The truth will always find a way to break free. Okay? You could throw the truth in a prison cell and just throw away the key. But the truth is going to find a way to break out of that prison cell. And this is what we always see when it comes to talking about the ridiculous contradictions that exist in the sport of boxing today. When you see fans that continuously try their best to defend their favorite fighters, knowing that what their favorite fighters may be saying makes no sense at all. But because these fans are so emotionally attached, they're forced to try to basically find some way to defend the fighters that they love. It seems like almost every other week, there's some new truth coming out that keeps exposing Team Pacquiao, Freddie Roach, Manny Pacquiao, Alex Ariza, the whole gang, right? This recent news is no different. So I'm just going to go ahead and cut to the chase. And I'll, I'll go ahead and add the link to that, the full interview later on. But basically, to make a long story short, Alex Ariza, he just said that Manny Pacquiao is the reason why this fight never took place. It was Manny Pacquiao that turned down the fight. It was Floyd Mayweather who was trying to make the fight. Then he went further by saying when Floyd called Manny Pacquiao and offered him the $40 million, he said Manny Pacquiao could have negotiated with Floyd because that's all Floyd was basically trying to do was negotiate. You know, you go low, I go high. You know the situation. But Manny Pacquiao, he had no interest in trying to negotiate. Okay? And I know some people are going to say, well, you know, uh, Alex Ariza, he can easily have sour grapes, the fact that he's not working with Manny Pacquiao anymore. And, you know, that could partially be true. But the thing that you have to look at is what makes sense, though. If you go back to when Alex Ariza was working with Manny Pacquiao and he was Manny Pacquiao's right-hand man, I remember when Floyd Mayweather, when he was desperately trying to make the fight with Manny Pacquiao before he went to jail, he was trying to make that May 5th date. He was calling out Pacquiao, etc. This is when Team Pacquiao and Bob Arum, they basically said that we're not interested in a Mayweather fight right now. And instead, that's when they decided to fight Juan Manuel Marquez. And, and the reason why I'm bringing this up, because I remember... Alex Ariza was hot about that decision. He thought the fight made no sense at all. He was, um, you know, he was doing interviews and he was expressing it to the public. He was saying this fight makes no sense at all. There's no reason for Manny Pacquiao to fight Marquez a fourth time. And now when you, when you look at, you know, what he's saying in his interviews today, now we clearly understand that he was basically saying he should be fighting Floyd Mayweather. He should have took the he should have took the forty million dollars. He should have took the off the offer that Mayweather gave him for May fifth instead of making that bullshit ass lie that you know Floyd that uh, Bob Arum is building an arena that's going to hold fifty thousand seats and it won't be ready till Floyd Mayweather turns himself in. You know I find it kind of interesting how all of a sudden the truth is coming out while at the same time Team Pacquiao is imploding in a way. I mean, if you recall, it was only about a month ago that Freddie Roach, he was making his own admission, basically saying that Alex Ariza was putting stuff in Manny Pacquiao's drinks and he wouldn't reveal what he was putting in the drinks. You know, uh, Freddie Roach would go on to say that Alex Ariza was shady and that's the reason why he doesn't work with us anymore. Huge admission that he made. So Freddie Roach basically just corroborated that Floyd Mayweather and Floyd Sr., they were on to something when they were asking him, Manny Pacquiao, to take this test. They had a right to be suspicious because that's exactly what Freddie Roach just said right now. Freddie Roach was suspicious of his own corner man. So if Freddie Roach is telling you he doesn't trust his own corner man, why would Floyd Mayweather trust 
Team Pacquiao and Pacquiao himself. You follow me? And then you got Alex Ariza now saying that it was Manny Pacquiao who didn't want to take the fight. The whole team is admitting the truth. And they're telling everybody exactly what the box, the knowledgeable boxing fans already knew from day one. The only people who got to deal with this shit are the, you know, the casual Manny Pacquiao fans who didn't want to hear this no matter what. And I know you guys going to try to make every excuse in the world trying to defend Manny Pacquiao, but it's, it's a wrap, man. Because when you got the trainer admitting stuff, when you have the fitness trainer admitting stuff, then, I mean, it's really not too much you guys could really say. So, you know, I expect more things to come to light when it comes to Team Pacquiao. I just think there's some stuff going on in that camp that we're going to find out about. And we're already starting to find out about it slowly but surely. We just keep getting, you know, pieces of the puzzle. But eventually, we're going to have a whole goddamn puzzle set, all right, put together. And also, if I didn't mention it before, Alex Arissa also said in that interview that Floyd Mayweather will go down as a greater fighter than Manny Pacquiao. Also, I want to give shots out to Hard Work Dedication, that channel, for um, always exposing the many contradictions that exist in the sport of boxing when it comes to this Manny Pacquiao Mayweather situation. He always uh, comes up with uh, clips that... Freddie Roach, Bob Arum said them, you know, said themselves and Manny Pacquiao, of course. So just wanted to give him a shout out. So that's pretty much all I got to say on this one, guys. I'm on to the next one.